find some dirt in someone. Be the one that finds the gold. With this proverb, let us start our new chapter, Don't Punish, Maybe Blind. Why this chapter is named so? Which moral value is hidden in it? Let's understand. Looking at the beautiful garden, the writer was getting ready to write. To his surprise, he saw the stranger who entered the garden and walked over the tiny beautiful flowers, crushing them all underfoot. The writer couldn't control his anger. He kept his pen and paper on the table and ran towards him, caught him by his neck and pushed him out of the garden. Shockingly, he identified that the stranger was blind. So students, here the writer wanted to highlight the moral value that how easily we make negative comments about others and how quick we are to judge. Let's see one more example through a story. Once a husband and wife was taking their breakfast. Through their window pan, they could easily see their neighboring houses. There they saw their new neighbor spreading the laundry. The wife commented that the neighbor's laundry seems so dirty. She doesn't know how to clean it. The husband kept quiet. Daily the wife used to say the same thing. But the husband kept quiet. Then the wife called her husband and said, See, today our neighbor's laundry looks so neat and tidy. Now she learned how to do it properly. Then the husband asked his wife to see the window glass. That day he had cleaned it. He said that through what window we look at others that is important. The new neighbors taught them to clean their window glass, not her laundry. Through the words of the husband, lady felt ashamed. From this incident, what have you learned? That many a times we judge people by knowing the facts partially or without knowing the facts at all. Every judgment reveals about the person who is judging, not about the person who is judged because we do not know the exact life situation of that person. So still we dare to judge. Now let's see one more example. Once a teacher showed his student A4 size white color paper having a black ink spot at the center and asked his students to write what they see. Many of the students started writing that there is a black spot almost one centimeter radius almost at the center. It is very black. It is for the beauty of the paper. But Kiran was an exception. She wrote that sir showed them a A4 size white color paper. It was pure white. As there was a hole at the center, the whiteness got brightened. Here with this example, we have seen that negative sides of the people are more highlighted than the positive sides. Now let's have one more incident. Once a man was moving up and down through the corridor of the operation theater and waiting for the doctor impatiently. When the doctor entered, he started shouting on him that where was he? He doesn't have any sense of responsibility because the son of the man was sinking. The doctor told him that he was sorry as he was not in the hospital. Doctor told him that he will do his best and said to pray because life is in God's hands. After few hours, doctor came hurriedly and told the man that his son is saved and he disappeared. The man approached the nurse and asked, What a doctor? Why he rushed? With tears in her eyes, the nurse told the man that yesterday the doctor has lost his son in an accident. Today is his funeral and when we called him, he came to save your child. Now he has gone to attend the funeral. So students, with this incident, what we have learned that we always start thinking wrong about others without knowing the exact fact of that person. So students, at last, we should understand some principles of judgment.
we should always remember the words written in the holy bible that judge not so that we shall not be judged so students i hope you will practically apply this value in your life and think once before judging anyone thank you students